Hello friends, welcome back to our channel UiPath Bots. In this video, we are going to learn about screen scraping. There is a feature called screen scraping in UiPath Studio. So let's learn about this. Before that, I would request you to please do subscribe our channel and for more videos, please click on the bell icon and don't forget to select all options so that you will get a notification whenever we upload a new video into this channel. And also if you like these videos and if you like this channel, please do like the videos and share it with your friends and colleagues too. Now let us jump into this video. Now let me increase this font. Yes. Screen scraping. This is one of the process to extract data from UI application. We have, uh, we, we got habituated to use this get text activity, right? There is an activity called get text, right? We use get text to get the value of a single element, single UI element. So say for example, uh, say let us take this WI application. So you might have already uh, known about this WI, right? This is an application which is provided by UiPath and you can download this for learning purposes using um, UiPath Academy. If you are not aware of this, you can use the description, uh, the link which is provided in the description uh, under this video. So now let us uh, see the get text. Get text we will be using to get the value of a single element if there is a value of this say suppose transaction number if i want to get this transaction number the single uh, value alone in such scenarios we are going to use get text there are times situations where we need to get some values of different uh, say say multiple elements say suppose i would i want account number transaction number and also the date right so uh, I need multiple values from the same window, same, same application. In such scenario, we need to get, we need to use some other activity or some other process to extract data from this UI window, right? That is nothing but screen scraping. So UiPath is providing a feature which is nothing but screen scraping to extract values from the UI element in bulk okay so uh, and the output of the screen scraping wizard is a string so all the values whatever we are selecting whether it is a region or a, a window document whatever it is it, it, will, it will be converted it will be uh, resulted into a string so blindly you can uh, remember this one like the output will be a string so this string contains multiple values of from multiple elements okay so straight straight uh, straight uh, forward uh, so get text will be used when we when we need to extract value from a single element whereas when situation comes to uh, get multiple values from multiple elements, we should blindly go to screen scraping and the output of screen scraping is a string. Now let us see how to use the screen scraping in real. Just open your UiPath Studio along with me. If you could uh, uh, recognize what I am showing here, then you will never forget what we learned here. Okay, so it's always suggestible to follow or to practice along with me. Okay. Now, just open your uh, studio, create one uh, new sequence. You could see the screen scraping here in the UI path ribbon. Okay, see here screen scraping. What it is doing? Extract data from a specified UI element or document using full text, native, or OCR methods. Let us talk about these methods later. For now, this is what screen scraping. Just click on screen scraping okay it, it it is asking 
which application you want to work on okay now uh, let me exit this i i just want to go for wi let me open this this is my application where i am going to work with okay now now let me click on screen scraping so i could see this application right now i am clicking on this application if i click on this application whatever data is available in this application it will be saved into a string it will be converted into a string okay but now for easy understanding i am just selecting a region of the application and i just want to get this particular data you you could see the difference right the one which is selected in blue okay i'm just clicking on this that's it now what what the executor robo is doing see in screen scraper wizard it has extracted complete data now let us compare this see here it has taken deposit transaction account number transaction number cash in honest check not so whatever is there in the selected region it been converted into a string okay this is a string output now coming to the scraping methods in our previous videos we have already covered the different methods available uh, uh, in outlook uh, activities right we have full text native and ocr ocr methods now by default if you if you want to learn in deep about these you please go through the video so you can get a clear idea on the difference and all but now coming to screen scraping the methods by default it will be full text let us remember that as well default method used is full text that is the reason it has extracted the full text that is the reason it has extracted full complete text from the selected region okay now let us see let us use another one that is native for example uh, blindly you can uh, remember this right for full text means if if we want to uh, get the complete text native it will it will get the visible text alone and ocr ocr is used in the virtual environments right to get the uh, data from images and uh, virtual environments right using optical character uh, recognition technique now let us go for native method and just refresh it see result no text extracted from this ui element so it it is not able to extract the data so now let us go to ocr and in under ocr we will be having some different engines that is tesseract engine uh, ocr for jainis and all and one more is there that microsoft oc uh, modi uh, one and the other one is ui path screen ocr if we go for ui path screen ocr we are supposed to provide the api key which we which you will be getting along with the license okay so uh, let us use this tesseract for now and google one also is available okay so these kind of ocr engines are available now let me refresh this just refresh and see what is the result it is extracting data let's see as you learned already in the previous uh, uh, video ocr is a bit slower right you could see this it has taken some time compared to our previous native and the full text full text it worked immediately and native or moderate and you could uh, see the ocr notice noticeably some uh, it, it has taken some extra time right to retrieve the uh, data and that too when you compare the result see it has it it has not given the proper data right something been missed okay so when you compare with the full text and ocr i believe full text is the one which has extracted the correct accurate data so i'll go with the full text one so this is how you can use the screen scraper
to get the values in multiple to get the multiple values from multiple elements from a region or from the entire application or from any document it is it all depends on your need or your uh, uh, data which data you are looking for it all depends on that whether to go for this full text or native or OCR okay now I I would like to get this part into my automation now that's this this is what I'm going to use so I'm just clicking on this finish button so click on finish now everything been copied here see now get full text activity being used here okay this is one activity which mean we already learned about few outlook uh, activities right get full text is the one which is which is automatically created by screen scraper if we use full text met, uh, method right so get full text and you could see that the output is a string now let us go for the variables let us convert this into a string okay now let us see what is there in this client this output okay now what to do how to uh, say this let us use some right line right line right line what I'm going to do here I would like to print the output whatever is available let us see let us run this so our double UI is available so our double UI is available now let us run this file let us run this file and let us see what it is extracting okay so it is so fast right so it's so fast let us go to output tab right exactly whatever you we want to see it has been extracted right this is the uh, this is how we we should go for uh, screen scraping when we want to extract data from multiple elements at a time and the default uh, method which which been used in screen scraping is full text and the output will be stored onto a string or generic variable okay that's it for today and let us meet uh, in our next videos uh, we'll learn about the data scraping and other techniques and the differences between screen scraping and data scraping so i hope you got this uh, uh, clear information to answer your interview question as well as when you work for uh, screen scraping you can use this uh, if you like this video please do subscribe our channel and share with your friends and colleagues too thank you so much for your valuable support Let's meet through our next videos. Till then, happy learning and happy automating. Bye-bye.